It's making me uh, hurry up. All right, guys. So we got canvas prints, or what are they called? Canvas print. Canvas print. Ah, from Costco, and we're gonna hang it on the wall. But the special part is that it's actually one of Ryan's photos. So it's an exciting moment. Exciting. See what it looks like. He's making me uh, hurry up. Instagram it. Instagram it. Let's do it this way. Watch out, watch. Moment of truth. Ooh. Let's see. Looks pretty cool. I gotta open it all the way up to, to see the final thing. So yeah, Ryan took that picture and we uh, got it printed on at Costco on those canvas prints. So we're thinking of either putting it there or there. Very exciting. Did a pretty good job with that. Look at that. That's ah, yeah. Yeah, that. Hey, don't kick yeah. him. I'm not gonna kick him. I'm just gonna scare him. Budge, come, come here, baby. Up, oh, come here. Come here. Alright. So there it is, laid out. A little bit dark at some of the bush areas there, but I think it's it's kind of acceptable. The original image was pretty dark to begin with. That's cool. All right. Hey guys, good morning. It is actually um, Tuesday, February fifteenth, and it's about eight thirty in the morning. And what I wanted to do is basically just update you guys um, because I think I didn't get a lot of footage for the vlog this week. Um, the stomach virus ended up hitting, um, four out of five of us. So, um, Bryce got it last Thursday and then it hit Ryan and Ania on Friday. And then I shipped off Kaylin <laughs> to my mom's house. And, um, and then I ended up getting a mild version of it, I'd like to say. So, um, yeah, that wasn't fun. But I'm glad that I got a mild version of it because I was taking care of everybody. So I, I didn't really get enough sleep because it was, that stomach virus was horrible. Um, once Bryce got it, I started taking, I was looking on Pinterest, of course. So I started taking 100% um, grape juice and then I started taking a probiotic. Um, for some reason I stopped taking probiotics, but... I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know if it's a coincidence that it worked, but uh, I don't know the scientific facts and logic between it, but behind it, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I was able to get a really mild version of it. Like I said, my biggest phobia is the vomiting. <laughs> and um, I was able to not have to do that, thank God. Um, more of it was just being really tired and like crashing and everything like that. So that is why I didn't get a lot of footage because I don't think you'd appreciate that. Um, another thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to do a quick unboxing because I received, let's see, I received or I purchased, I'll see, he, my passion planner. So I purchased a passion planner and you're probably thinking, Charlene, you have like how many planners, which is true. I do. I have a lot of planners. <laughs> it's my thing, I guess. But the one thing I liked about the Passion Planner was it's kind of more than just your monthly or your yearly planner. This kind of helps you um, find your way in life, if that makes sense. <clears throat> um, I'll show you. I got the eight and a half by 11, I think. That's like standard. I like the big one. I don't like the small one. But this is the Passion Planner. So um, I also got this one. See, I think it retails for $20 or $30. And I got this for $17. Because um, I think they're fading out this style or this 
design, which I love the color. This nice, I would like to say it's like maybe a muted Tiffany blue or kind of a Tiffany blue. And the design um, just reminded me of Disneyland. <laughs> and Disneyland is the happiest place on earth, I'm just letting you know. So, makes me happy. It has Passion Planner on there. If you ever feel lost and um, don't know what the next step is going to be in terms of like career, or in terms of life or whatever, this, you know, helps you lay it all out. And sometimes that's a good thing because if you are able to, you know, uh, write things down, it kind of helps you brainstorm and yeah. So, um, yeah, just more of how it's set up. And then, um, what I also liked about this was that, so once you, before you added it to your cart, it had a pop-up and it just reminded you just to let you, in terms of this specific one, it said just to remind you all the month months are grouped up into, you know, two pages. Um, so basically letting you know it's not like one big month page and then your weekly, like typical planners. And then I think it also said, and then if you were okay with that, you hit yes. And then another one was, what was it? Um, oh, that this one was undated. Yeah. So it reminded you that it was undated, which is great because, you know, you don't want to actually accidentally get an undated one when you want a dated one, yada, yada. So obviously you would hit yes. If you hit, you know, didn't click it, then you would go back and find the one that you want. Another option that they had, which was great, was, um, you could have your week starting on Sunday or on Monday. I personally am um, a Monday person, so I prefer my planners to start on Monday. I, I guess I'm weird like that. I don't know if that's, is that normal? Do you guys like Sundays or Monday? Do you guys start your weeks off on Sundays or Mondays? Let me know in the, know in the comments below, maybe I'm just weird. But um, that's what I personally like. I like to have my, mon my weeks end on Sunday. So yeah, um, it has monthly reflections. So, um, which is good. Sorry guys, so my camera cut out because it was, the internal temperature was a little too high for it. So, anyway, um, so that was my passion planner. If you guys wanted to see like a separate video for it where I'm thinking, um, I can kind of go through it, just let me know. Um, let's see, another update is, um, oh, I'm getting a makeover. So, um, I decided one day to basically just go online, um, and, or go on Twitter and people were retweeting, um, the it mom, if you're not familiar with her, she's, her name is Daisy Tay and, um, she is the writer, founder, but she's really popular, um, of the it mom blog and she has decided to do a web show called the it mom makeover so i decided hey why not i'm gonna go ahead and apply and i ended up getting the call like two weeks later saying that they want me on the show so um it's pretty crazy so i actually leave uh, february 25th for california those are the dogs um and i get a full head to toe makeover a getaway for a weekend and what they're gonna do is they're also going to teach us how to put on like makeup um, depending on how much time we have we get on go on a shopping like they find help us pick out outfits and stuff like that so a makeover show but um, I think they said that the web show is gonna start airing April 6th so you guys want to stay tuned for that uh, I'll leave the links down below for where, uh, to her YouTube channel, her blog and everything like that. But I am one out of 12. Um, so that would be a lot of fun. It's going to be my first time, uh, traveling without, for basically by myself in a long time, like 12 years and basically sleeping by myself, if that makes sense. Cause even when Ryan leaves for, um, on his trips and if I don't have the kids I end up sleeping with Pudge or the dogs and so I don't have any of that this time so that'll be quite interesting but I will also um, bring the camera with me so I will take you guys along so that is really exciting um, 
and yeah so lately i've just been hanging out with my brother i'll leave some clips of where we uh have been going to we went to carlos bakery if you're not familiar it's the cake box cake box cake boss on tlc and we checked out his bakery um and then we've gone to you know fashion show mall and um hallelulu cookie company so a lot of fattiness going on but um another ooh, something to look out for is that um because you know i was feeling sick and when you're sick like that with the stomach virus you basically eat whatever you can keep down and i can tell you that it wasn't the healthiest that i've been eating um especially since my brother moved here um We've been kind of indulging and taking advantage of it. So um, I am actually going on a juice cleanse. I know, but I'm really excited about it. Now, um, I am not doing it to lose weight. I'm doing it more to kind of detox my body and get me back into the habit of eating healthy. Because um, personally, again, just for me, um, once I start eating not as healthy and really crappy, I start getting used to those tastes and eating healthy just kind of goes meow. So, um, this juice cleanse, I'm going on a three day juice cleanse for right now. Um, today is day one, but I will have a separate video for that. But yeah. But I think that is going to be the end of the vlog. Sit down, whatever it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I really apologize for not having any footage, but like I said, I didn't think you guys would enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I hope you hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs>